Okay, so uh, some of the background we talked about yesterday uh, as we talked, uh, there's two general sources of porosity uh, in our die castings. Uh, first one, solidification shrinkage. This is a volumetric shrinkage that, we, uh, that occurs as we go from liquid to solid. There's absolutely nothing we can do to prevent that from occurring. But what we can do, as we talked about yesterday, is as the casting is solidified, feed more liquid into the cavity to uh, make up for the uh, reduction in uh, uh, volume that's going on with the castings. And then the second uh, uh, source of porosity, uh, of course, is uh, gas entrapment or gases from various sources. Uh, and we talked yesterday about the various sources, and we'll talk a little bit about more, a little more about this in today's webinar. So going back to the volumetric contraction uh, we talked about yesterday with aluminum alloys, somewhere between four to six percent uh, volumetric contraction uh, with zinc. Um, maybe three to four percent depending upon the alloy and then magnesium alloys are somewhere in the middle somewhere around four and a half volumetric uh, 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 percent contraction but when we look in the literature about the level of porosity in castings in die castings uh, pretty much we never see a casting with more than three percent porosity or so and certainly often less than that so what this is implying is that we can't discount one source of porosity over the other. We're going to get air entrapment or gas entrapment. We're going to get shrinkage porosity. And therefore, when we're addressing porosity, we have to think about both of them. We can't just focus on air entrapment or gas entrapment. We can't just focus on shrinkage porosity. Uh, and then yesterday, we also discussed uh, the two shapes of porosity. Uh, the picture on the left here at the bottom <coughs> is the smooth pores and on the right the uh, uh, rough jagged pores. And we talked about the physics of uh, pore formation, uh, that the smooth pores, the one on the left, these tend to be associated uh, with porosity formation um, when there's a lot of liquid, a high liquid fractions very early in the casting process or in the solidification process. And because of that, and because of the way, the way uh, gases tend to be entrapped, therefore the uh, 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 smooth spherical porosity tends to be associated with entrapment of gases. The jagged pores, uh, the one on the right, tend to uh, form at lower liquid fractions. Uh, at the end of solidification, when there's a large amount of solid present and only a small amount of liquid, and therefore the pore has to conform to the shape of the surrounding grains. And again, uh, uh, normally, but not always, that's associated therefore with shrinkage, because shrinkage tends to occur right at the end of the solidification process. To purchase access to this course, visit the NADCA Marketplace at www.diecasting.org slash store. Purchasing a course through the online education system grants you one year of access to the recording, presentation, support material, and test when applicable. NADCA Video News and Information is brought to you by the following sponsors.